Alright, well, welcome guys. Uh, here's some Battlefield 4 gameplay all on Ultra with HBO, HBAO, 4 times MSAA, um, all the goodies. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some conquest on Dragon Pass. Hopefully, the game is, you know, not too far from just starting the match we're joining, um, because we all know that that's a complete pain in the ass, am I right? Right, okay, so, I don't know about you guys, but I hate it when I join a game when it's like close to being over or, or whatnot. Eh, well, I guess it's not too bad. We'll go ahead and run with this one, I guess. Okay. Um, just so everybody knows real quick, I'm using a new video recording software uh, called Lightcam on Steam. It just released uh, not too long ago, so... Now we're going to give that a try and see how well it works. It isn't free, unfortunately, but I think on sales price point that's set now, I don't think that it's bad. And I'm just taking around if you can see most of the your software for now. I did, I did a little bit of run-throughs with it earlier and it seemed just fine, so... Um... Go ahead and see what it's like now. Wow, well, I can't fucking drive. It's hard to drive in better food games. I don't know why, but the big buggies and shit, they have horrible, like, Turn back rate uh, balance, like you know what I mean. Like you can turn the opposite course and spawn and come back the other way. It, it's delayed, and, and that part of the issue. I guess that's how they want it. But I don't. But that's why I like the dirt bikes better because they're not so. I don't know the jeeps and shit in the game just have that turn back rate and can fucking make the game that. Um, well, just so everybody knows, I'm running on a, uh, uh, well, hold on, give me a second. <coughs> okay, I thought I was going to sneeze. I'm running on an EVGA 770 Superclock ACX cooler. Um, just so you know, the ACX cooler is actually faster than the non-ACX cooler, which is just a blower. Um, it's boosted compared to the blower. Um, and that's basically to, to do with heat issues that if they boost it, the regular cooler, um, um, the, the blower version, it will overheat and probably die. Um, cause it gets way too hot as it is already. Um, but with the ACX version, it runs so cool that they were able to boost it a little bit compared to the regular version. Um, and have it run, um, just fine. So, temp-wise and everything. Anyway, so yeah, I got running that with an i5 3570K. Um, yeah, I, I, I bought the chipset before uh, before the, the fourth gen came out, and uh, I don't think it's worth the upgrade. Now, if I'm bored, but if I don't know what the fourth gen, I think it might be worth that upgrade, but the fourth price for anything, it's, it's not worth the time, capital, or anything. It's only cost 4.3, 16 gigs of uh, high performance uh, memory, 1600. Uh, an SSD, of course, nice Corsair, or I don't know what it is, but it's an SSD. I, I forget at the moment. I apologize. Uh, yeah, it's a really good machine, and it normally runs Battlefield 4 on Ultra at, you know, full 60 flat. I use v sync so when I say 60, it, it, it's running to 60, but when I've tested it without v sync I'm actually pulling 110 to 120 with everything on back, you can go. The SSAO for ambient occlusion, which I don't see much of a difference in really, and I'm not a big fan of ambient occlusion, but I say, hey, you know, now that I have a card that can physically handle it with no problem at all, I say, hey, go ahead and run it. Um, it's there for some reason, so why not? But I, I, I've never really seen much of a difference in ambient occlusion, and on my games, like, um, for instance, uh, WoW, World of Warcraft, 
they implement it really bad, and I've always had a uh, bad experience with that game. Because it adds like a dark shadow over everything, and it makes the game look ugly and, sh and, sh and uh, shaded for some reason. So I'm not sure what that's all about. I think it's just their implementation of it um, isn't very good, and it being an old engine and not natively supporting it to begin with, of course, being like really old. And this is probably boring for you guys, but I'm not doing much here. And that's why I don't like Conquest as much. I, I prefer uh, Team Deathmatch or Rush over Conquest. I don't know what the hell is. I can give you a ride! Get in the vehicle! I hate little bitches like that. I fucking swear to God, you know, those are the kind of people, in my opinion, in this game, that can't play the fucking game for shit. They just can't play the game for shit. You know, they have to, they have to always have a rocket launcher or, or and, and or C4 on them in order to get any kills. Because if you press face, well, that's the easiest way to get killed in battlefield is get you a rocket launcher or get you some C4. And do nothing but go after people. Don't worry yourself with, in, uh, with infantry. Sorry, not inventory. Don't worry yourself with uh, with uh, infantry. Don't worry yourself with objectives. Don't worry yourself with anything. Don't play the game way it's you. Don't help out your teammates. Don't give a fuck about any of those things. Just get yourself to two four or a rocket launcher and go and, and focus on nothing but do. Because if you have two four or a rocket launcher and once you get used to it. It's really easy to get killed that way. It's very, very, very easy. It's like a conquest of course. Um, but to me, again, that's just a pussy way uh, of getting killed. And, and people who, who do that, you know, make it their, their style of gameplay, the way that they play the game and enjoy the game. Well, normally, I find the ones that, of course, can't play the game for shit. Um, you know, they suck at infantry, they suck at vehicles, so... The only way for them to get really killed is, is the easy way out, basically, and I don't know. I, I know I went on a rant there a little bit, and I apologize, but to me, that's just really fucking annoying. And, um, kind of a pussy-ass way to play the game, so... Anyway, I'll stop bitching about that, you guys. Uh, <laughs> um... Oh shit, and you know this video is going to get big and it's going to get huge with, with, with the cam on there and everything else. It's going to get big fast. It's going to be a fucking pain in the ass to upload YouTube. But I just usually do it at night. Like I'll get all of all, them. Um... Oh shit. I usually do is I'll get like a, a, a couple record, recordings together. Um, oh, by the way, you know, I forgot to mention that even though I know the sound quality sucks, 
I know that I sound like shit on the microphone and all that stuff, but it's the only one I have is the one on my cam. It's a lot it's the best Logitech cam you would get right now, it's like seven bucks. It's really nice and you know, I mean most people aren't gonna really use the, the the microphone for anything like this, but I don't have a choice right now. It's more convenient than wearing a headset or having a professional microphone in the desk and having a set of levels and yada 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 yada. And that's more software and drivers and, and, and processes that I don't want. So. Yeah, this is the first time that there's been commentary um, on any of my videos, mainly because of the software. Fraps doesn't allow me to do this, and neither does uh, GeForce Experience. Oh, and for anybody wondering, um, this is called Light Cam. I think I said it in the beginning of the video. Um, it came out just now, today, or yesterday, I believe it was today. Or just recently, whenever it came out. Maybe it was the 14th, I don't know. But it's recent. And uh, it's it's the newest uh, video recording software out there. It's indie. But, you know, it's pretty good. Although it does not live up to its claim of really high performance video recording. The videos look good. Everything looks good. It looks better than crap. So on and so forth. But again, it doesn't live up to the hype. They hype it and saying that, oh, it's the best video before because of its performance, you're going to get the best performance out of it, and you're not going to lag, and there's going to be no lag, and I knew right off the get go that was complete bullshit, um, especially with GeForce Experience out, that's like the best recorder I've ever used um, as far as uh, no lag recording goes, like, literally, it, it drops like two or three frames off of my, off of my FPS, that's it, that's it. And this is taking up a little bit more with the video recording at the same time, picture in picture. Um, but it's not bad. I actually tested it without it, and it's only a couple frames different. So it's really about the same, but it's not anything extreme. Um, so it's not really, you know, because I wanted to test that without that to fair to see if it lives up to the claim. All right, we won. Yeah. Anyway, just don't believe the hype. Um, GeForce Experience is free, and it actually records um, with better performance. Sorry, I kind of lost what I was, the word I was looking there for, but it records with better performance than this does, for sure. Um, this isn't horrible. This isn't Fraps horrible. Fraps is horrible. This is like better than Fraps, but not as good as EVGA, or I mean, um, not as good as NVIDIA uh, GeForce Experience. So, kind of take that, you know, in mind when you, uh, when, if you're deciding, you know, free or pay, uh, service for, for, for such things like this. I just was really curious, and it's on sale for, like, 12 or 13 bucks, so I got it because I wanted to see, like, its claims were so high that I thought, well, hell, maybe it is better than GeForce Experience. Now, in my eye, it still is, not because, like, of course, GeForce Experience records better. This is still better, in my opinion... Um, because it's solely, uh, 